Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have Fiji with me because today is about a bunny thing, so I have her with me. Uh, today is what you need for a bunny. And I know I did this like my first video it was what you need for a bunny, but it was like really cringy and just bad in general. So this is a new and improved one that will actually, you know, actually inform you. So yeah, but anyways, before we get started, guys, if you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel, my name is Rachel, and if you haven't subscribed, no, no. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, you should totally do that, because I know our family is a little tiny right now, but hopefully it will grow into a beautiful butterfly. Anyways, so let's get on with this. So, I'm gonna say before you get a bunny, so before you get this little creature, you should probably get these things or after or probably continuously get these things during your rabbit's life. So first, obviously you pick your rabbit. She doesn't want to be up here anymore. First thing that you will need for a bunny is obviously a cage. You can really get any kind of cage. You can build a cage out of secrets, which are just these, which you can buy like 36 or 26 on Amazon for 20 bucks ish I think so you can build a cage out of this and zip ties you can go get a dog cage that's big enough for them you can go get a lot of things um so yeah so that's the first thing that oh my gosh I cannot talk today guys so that's probably the first thing that you'll need to get and then the second thing is probably some type of litter box if you are Wanting to get your litter, bo your litter box trained, yes. If you want to get your bunny litter box trained, you should probably start that as soon as you get your bunny. You need to get something like this. Um, I would recommend something a little bit bigger. You're actually supposed to get um, a litter box that they can do a 360 in and actually able to not lay down all the way, but to stretch. So that's a tip, and this is just the one that I had from when she was a baby. It's a little bit smaller because she was pretty tiny when I got her as a baby, so she didn't need a huge one that she does now. But yeah, this is just an older one. So yeah. Um, if you want to litter train them, I think I might do another video on that, so you should keep watching if you want, or you should comment down below if you want to see a video about litter training because that's so interesting. I know. Anyways, if you're going to litter train your bunny, the easiest way to clean it out is if you get copy pads, like these um, pee pads, and put them, so I get the extra large because I used to have them from my guinea pigs that I do not own anymore. I gave them away to a, another family because I just did not have time for them, and it was just like that. So I have extra large right now, so it's like this, and then what you do is you'd open it. Well, if you got the smaller ones, obviously you want to do this, but after you open it, this is super huge, so then I have to fold it like this, and then you put it at the bottom of your litter box, like this, and then you put your stuff in your litter in. So yeah, that's a tip for today. So yes, you can get puppy pads really anywhere, like Walmart, Target, really anywhere that sells animal products. So yeah. And then after you get all of that great stuff, you will need something to hold her food, which this is really dirty right now because there's just like pellets mushed up in there. But I usually clean this every week-ish. This isn't like, that's just pellets, it's not like that, but... I just have a little bowl because bunnies are only supposed to get one fourth of a cup of pellets a day and if you overfeed them pellets is just bad it's bad for them so you should only feed them one fourth of a cup each day in the morning or night whatever you choose and if you feed them pellets in the morning and then you should feed them like their vegetables at night or if you feed your vegetables in the morning then your pellets at night. That's all that I can say. You should not be feeding your bunny non-stop pellets. That's just not good for them. They need to be on a routine when they get their pellets and when they do not get their pellets, when they get their vegetables and that. So yeah. So if you're going to get a food bowl, then you'll obviously need food. So I keep my food in this plastic container because if I just leave it in a 
plastic bag, then my bunny will tear up into it and eat the whole thing. So yeah, she's done that before. So I just keep it in this plastic container. This is how it, this used to be for like cereal, but you can really hold anything in it and just hold it. So well, you can obviously see where she's tried to um, open it at the top. Yeah, but she was unsuccessful. Un un oh my gosh, unsuccessful. So yeah, and if you're wondering what kind of pellets I use, um, since Fiji is um, an adult rabbit, she's if she's over six months, then that's considered an adult rabbit. But if they're under six months, they're con still considered a baby rabbit. So if you have a small rabbit, you probably don't want to get the same. You probably want to get smaller rabbit foods that have some more minerals, not minerals, that has more fiber and stuff in it. But I just use this small world rabbit food, and it's just minerals and vitamins, and that's basically all they need. So yeah, and it, this just helps with um, um, their dietary track. They can't do it by themselves or anything like that. I like guinea pigs. So that just helps everything move along their happy ways. So then you get these happy poops on the very end. So yeah, sadly. So this is the kind that I use. Just happy world, you know, for rabbits. And before you buy something, any kind of product for your bunny, you need, to, you need to read the labels, you need to read what's in it, because sometimes there's companies that sell some really janky food stuff, so yeah. Okay, so if you're gonna get food, you, like, this is like a necessity, okay? You have to have this, like, have to, have to, have to, have to. You don't have to have a litter box, you don't have to have a food bowl but you need you need pellets obviously some some rabbit owners say that you don't need pellets but I personally I think they're fine they're just like they make another meal for your bunny so you don't see them vegetables all the time yeah so yeah so technically you you don't need pellets but I vote that you do need pellets so yeah, whatever that people say. But this is you need, 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 need. Every bunny owner will say this. And it's terrible to use. I hate it so much, but she loves it. You're going to need some hay. And mine's almost out, but I'm getting some more tomorrow. But this is just Timothy hay. They need Timothy hay. It's like important for their body to work properly and the brand is just Katie just Katie this is all natural Timothy hay there's a lot of different Timothy hay's out there that has like different kinds of things in it there's natural Timothy hay there's processed Timothy hay all that stuff but again you need to look at what you're buying your ingredients everything like that even though it's like it's hey what else could go on it there's a lot of weird stuff that can go on it if you get some stuff that's pasteurized you probably need a which i think that i don't know if they sell it in the u.s i don't know i don't know i only get them from like two places and that's walmart and like world king yeah so i know in the uk that when you buy timothy you can get pasteurized Timothy hay and that's basically like they just throw it in a bag and give it to you so it could have rocks in it, it could have bugs in it it could have all sorts of stuff in it so yeah so you just want to make sure what you're getting and this is just the pasteurized stuff that you know doesn't have rocks and stuff in it so yes okay moving on another thing that you would want and probably need is some kind of dustpan. Oh, that has a lot of fur on it. So I have this smaller dustpan for her cage, for you know just small messes she makes, and then I have a larger like broom for when I have to clean up around my room. And there's poop everywhere. I know it's disgusting, but anyways, so you'll probably need one of these, or at least a small one or a big one or both, because they are awesome to clean up messes that your rabbit makes. Because honestly. Your rabbit will make messes. I'm not going to lie to you. He, they will poop on the floor. 
they might pee here and there. Yeah. Which, another tip is when your rabbit is a baby, they're, they probably won't pee on the floors more. But once your rabbit turns into an adult, that's probably when they will start marking their territory more on the floor. Just a hint and advice. And then very last, this is my last little thing that you will need. You will need something for them to chew on. Rabbits, their teeth grow nonstop. Like, their teeth never stop growing. Like, ours, like, they come in, like, we lose their teeth, they come in, they stop growing. Theirs never stop growing. So they chew on everything. So you have to get them wood or cardboard or something. Like, if you don't want to spend money on this stuff, you could literally go outside, get some sticks, clean them off, and give it to her, him, her, your bunny. You could get a box and give it to them. You could literally get anything. And, it, and if you don't, they will find their own things to chew on. Like cords and baseboards and everything else that you could possibly not want them to chew on. Yeah. So you will need some of these. And yeah, you're going to need some of these. You're going to need lots of these actually. She goes through them like crazy. She can chew up a whole box in like a day. Also, I almost forgot. You're going to get bedding for them. I just use shredded paper for mine. I just shred some paper and then I have her bedding for her. But if you want to go get some actual litter, which don't use cat litter. Repeat, do not use cat litter. You need something that they can consume and that will go through their body. So like crumbled up paper. Then you can buy the store, you can buy a bunch of stuff. Probably, I would not say wood chips. Wood chips I would stay away from. Because that just hurts their feet. I heard that it's really bad. And a lot of people are going against it. Because it rather cuts their animal in some way. Or it just injures them in one way or another. So, I would not recommend wood shavings at any possible way. Do not get them. But, I almost said please. Please, please get, I said it again, <laughs> um, I would probably get something that is paper based, obviously paper based because they will chew on it and they will eat it and they literally eat everything. Yeah. Okay. So guys, that's all that I have for you today and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. And if you did, make sure you like it, like it up, you know, like it. And also, comment what you'd like to see next. Comment if you want me to do more of these videos based on my bunny. And comment if you'd like to see Fiji in more of, her, more of my videos, which I said comment a lot. And I gave you a lot of work to do. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Anyways, guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you should totally subscribe. Because I know our family is a little tiny right now. But hopefully it will grow into a beautiful butterfly. Because you all are beautiful. And so, yeah. <laughs> that's all I have for you today which I've said that like nine times now I'm really annoying so I'm just gonna go so stay beautiful